Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, comrades of all kinds, thank you for joining me no matter where you're at across the country around this big, beautiful globe. I think I'm going to start doing something like this every time. Every single time something like this pops up, you know, the American burlesque, the English speaking burlesque, the, the American left's burlesque, whatever the hell you want to call it. We, on the international left, at least the English speaking portion, are going to push a more coherent message. We're going to say, you know what? Maybe don't focus on this too much. Give them their due diligence. Give them a couple minutes. But then move on. Okay? Because we have spent... Think of how many man hours we have spent on stuff like this. As opposed to what our primary goals should be. Organizing international student unions. Tenant unions in independent labor unions. Why do we say independent labor unions? Trotskyists say uh, rank and file committee, some other socialists and people say rank and file council, worker syndicates. It's just to differentiate between the bureaucratized messes that are attached to the labor parties and the democratic party and the liberal democratic parties in actual rank and file unions that serve workers. And why do we do this? Is this just for fun? Or student unions just for clubs? Or tenant unions just for barbecues? You know, or, la or labor unions just so we, you know, pay dues and shoot the shit and, ma and make some freaking bureaucrat rich. No. Think about nine things that we want. Nine things that we would basically want out of those things. Higher wages, right? Better worker benefits. Improved working conditions. Lower rent. Okay, improved living conditions. And better renter benefits better student benefits, improved learning conditions, and lower tuition or no tuition. Okay? That's nine things we would want out of these international unions when we work across borders. You arm, train, educate, organize, all of that good stuff. And then you form like Voltron, you form like Megazord, whatever, and you take the institutions over. That's what you do. That's what we're talking about here. But we get hung up on stuff like this all the time. Now I'm going to just read her response here. Now, and to be clear, I've always gotten a little bit of a hey, vibe from this individual. Haven't paid too much attention from them since. I know they're associated with some pretty decent folks, though. Uh, the Humanist Report with uh, Mike Figueredo, uh, David Dole with the Rational National, Matt Binder, and, and some of these other folks. Some decent folks, okay? So give people their due. I'm just going to read to you this real quick. This should only take us a few minutes. But we have to do this every time because we have to insert ourselves into these conversations, apparently. Freaking, you know, shake the keys, shake the leash, whatever you got to do with these with the English speaking left. And by the way, I say this every time. Every country has a national progressive movement and a pseudo left movement. It has rea they both have reactionary tendencies, but it is the most ripe for the international left to take from, okay? Not liberals, moderates, and conservatives, and right-wingers, and all these other clowns. No. Particularly the national progressive movement, and then some folks in the pseudo, that have fallen into the pseudo-left. So I'm going to read this to you, and we're going to get out of here in like two more minutes. Illuminati says, Hey everyone, I am fully aware of the recent false allegations that have surfaced. I want to take a moment to publicly state that I am taking these allegations seriously and I'm committed to rectifying this situation promptly and appropriately. I understand the concerns and potential impact that these false allegations have caused. My team and I are actively working behind the scenes to gather all relevant facts. I am committed to transparency and accountability throughout this process. Rest assured that I am taking decisive action to address this situation. I will provide updates and communicate any necessary actions as soon as possible. Thank you to those who are standing by me during this challenging time. I will not allow these false allegations <laughs> to be weaponized as a way to silence my voice. I appreciate your patience and understanding during this challenging time. I am dedicated to upholding my channel's values and delivering on our commitments. I am confident that the truth will prevail. Sincerely, Blair Zion. P.S. These false allegations are false allegations. I just said it. 
I just added that last little PS part, okay? But she did say false allegations, like, several times. And look, I don't think it's the false allegations people are worried about. It's it's the possible true allegations, correct? That That's what people would be worried about. Let me just read a couple of the responses here, and then we'll... And then I and then I gotta go because we do have like one, two, three, four, five about five other things we gotta talk about. <laughs> uh, Naomi Saban says this is the most dramatic way of saying nothing at all that I have ever witnessed. <laughs> Petit Neat says can't wait to see you in my YouTube feed for the next two weeks. Just kidding. Uh, Leaf says ratio time everybody and. Wow, they actually did viciously ratio this person. And Illuminati has like a huge following too, right? <laughs> 312 likes, 355 quote tweets. You can see how that's going. <laughs> if, you're, if you're on like Twitter or Facebook, you kind of know what that sort of stuff, that ratio means. It means you're just getting smoked out of your weasel burrow in, in people's opinion. Okay. Internet Anarchist says, you really should have taken the Sunny V2 approach of ghosting the drama and continuing the usual uploads. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know anything about that. I don't know what Sunny V2 is. It sounds like Sunny Delight or something. Like a freaking orange juice drink. Dr. Uh, or D. Bernard R. says, nope, too late. Not even sure how you turned up in my feed. I've stopped Patreon. Unsubbed. And now apparently muting you. You need to fix yourself before you can rectify. But those words are lost some, on someone like you. Look, I did see a little chart recently. You know, you got these like social media trackers. And she was losing like 10,000, five. I mean, the smallest number I saw was she lost 3,000 in one day followers because she's got like millions and shit, you know. So there's, there's definitely something going on. You know, people are just like, whoa, this does not look good. <laughs> ASYU says, can I have five dollars? <laughs> uh Small Kitty FFXIV says, um oh that that must be I'm guessing that's those are Roman numerals. Off the delusion, L plus ratio. <laughs> what are you talking about, bro? Uh Leah something says false. <laughs> Uh, there's a meme here that says they're beating your ass in the QTs. Push start. <laughs> uh, LMAO says Beast Churger 73. I, don't know, I can't even read this name. Can somebody tell me what she's on about? Spirit says Blair personally trapped me to her basement and had a pegging machine go at me for three months straight. Slobodan Brilosevic says cooked. Bob Ascension says, this sounds so PR. I'm sure at least 10 people working in PR wrote these statements. This doesn't sound human. It sounds so corporate. <laughs> chat, chat bot. What allegations? You've been accused of many things, most of which appear to be true. <laughs> Look, I can't, I can't, I can't take this, man. This is, this is what happens though. People will be at this. For weeks it's funny it, it you know like it, it is there is some humor to it it's peculiar to say the least these circular firing squads but you ain't gonna get much done out of this now look i'm gonna leave it at that we're gonna talk about everything else we gotta talk about